In this video, we're going to talk about a very useful tool found in Guitar Pro 6. We're going to talk about the Scales tool. This tool is accessible by going into the Tools menu, Scales. There's several uses you can make of this tool. The first one is simply to find how to play a particular scale on your instrument. The first thing to do is to select the tone you want to use, and in this case, we'll select a C tone. Now, all the list of different scales in C are going to appear. As you can see, the list is quite big, and to help you in your task, Guitar Pro 6 comes with a search engine. Let's, for example, type the word blues. I'm going to hit the Enter key to validate my query, and now three different blues scales in C are going to appear. Once you selected a scale, you can see its formula on the bottom of the window. Guitar Pro 6 also comes with a list of different filters you can use to pinpoint the scale you're looking for. Let's, for example, type the word major, and we'll use a pentatonic filter. This is going to show us all the different major pentatonic scales available. Let's narrow down our list. We can use an additional filter, such as the usual filter, which is going to show us all the frequently used major pentatonic scales. Let's select the Mixolydian pentatonic. Its formula appears on the bottom of the window, and I can hear the scale by hitting the play button. Once you selected the scale you want to use, you can show the scale on your guitar. To do this, we're going to go into the View menu, fretboard, keyboard, drums, and now you can see how to play that scale on your fretboard. The blue notes indicate the root of your scale, in this example, C. The scale tool is also very useful when you're writing a new song. Let's consider this new project. I'm going to select that first bar, and then I'm going to show my fretboard by using the View menu. The fretboard indicates all the notes used in my riff. From that window, I can click on the Scales button, which is going to open the Scales window. In that Scales window, I'm going to click the Find Scales from Selection, which is going to show me a list of scales that will use the notes of my riff. This tool can be very useful if you're stuck while writing a song and you want to know which notes you can add to create a new riff. Let's try another example. On the second bar, this time I'm going to enter a chord. Once the chord is entered, I'm going to select the chord by double clicking on the bar where the chord appears, and then show the guitar fretboard by using the view menu. All the notes found in my chord appear in yellow. Now if I click on the Scales button, this is going to open the Scales window from which I can search all the scales that will work over the chord I just entered. This tool is very useful if you want to find new ideas while improvising over a series of difficult chords.